welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be making a little Father's Day gift um, my husband has got a slight obsession with bottle top caps and so I thought what I'd do is I'd make him some little bottle top cap stepping stones for our garden this year and um, the girls are going to help I've got all the bits out laid down the table so I'm going to show you how we're going to make them so on the table we've got the concrete so I've got an old bowl I've also got some plastic gloves I've yeah. got a pencil some sticky back plastic some scissors and um a, a wooden, wooden spoon. spoon I picked up some new cake tins from Wilco which were two pounds each I'm going to use the actual piece of paper that was inside I'm going to use that to draw around the sticky back plastic in a minute and then I've got some bottle tops that my husband has collected I'm just going to draw around the edge of these cardboard rings and then make two of those. Oh, out the ring really good. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of building a pattern up of the bottle tops onto the sort of circle piece of card that came on the cake tin and then I'm going to use the sticky wet plastic and lay it inside just like I've done here and place the bottle caps face down in the tin and I'm just going to repeat that for this one now. And then remove it to have a look at your design and check you're happy with it and then place it back into the cake tin. We're now going to scoop some of this concrete mix into the tin. So Jessica, can you have a go of doing that for me then? What do I need to scoop Just it into? Just scoop some into here. That's it. Good girl. Right, and then more. Let's do some good scoop. Then we need to cover all of those. And I'm probably going to fill the pan about half full. That should be enough. Right, now and now I'm just going to repeat that with this pan. I've now just, with the washing can, sprinkled some water over the top. Not enough to let it pull on the top, and then I'm just going to leave it, and it should set within about half an hour. But there is a tiny bit over there that hasn't got water on it. Okay, hold on. Okay. That'll do. So I've allowed plenty of time for the stepping stones to set, and so now I'm going to see if I can tip them out. Here they are. I'm. I left them for about 24 hours in the end. I just decided to leave them out overnight and then now I'm going to tip them out to see what they look like. I think I'm going to give it a little bit of sand around the edge and then maybe a bit of varnish on the top and then that should be done. What do you think? I think they look quite good. Because they felt ever so slightly damp, I left them outside for about 24 hours and now I'm going to varnish them. <laughs> Here are the final stepping stones, this is what they look like. Um, I'm going to place them here for now but I find a nice place in our garden. To put them somewhere. In the end the stepping stones took about half an hour but I did it over the course of a couple of days. Um, the cement that I chose was a quick giant cement and one that you actually poured water over but I just say double check the instructions for your individual cement that you buy or concrete that you buy. Um, if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and I'd love you to subscribe for more videos like this.